Welcome back to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's topic is, are you with them for the right reasons? So you're dating somebody new and there's some really good things that are going on with them, but you sort of feel like you're sacrificing a little bit of who you are to be with them. Maybe because they've got all these rules and regulations about how much time they see you or how, you know, what's going on in their life and maybe you're not quite the priority to them. So what you have to do here is really look at it and say to yourself, Am I shortchanging myself in this relationship? Am I getting as much back from it as I should be? Because if you're in a committed situation with somebody, you need to have that commitment reciprocated. And a lot of people aren't doing that. They're sitting there saying, well, it's okay for now. I'm just gonna sort of be quiet about how I really feel and see if things progress. I'm gonna be sort of a good person and just sit back and let things unfold. Well. That's okay to a certain degree in the maybe the first few dates, but if you've been with somebody for a little bit longer and you're still having the same sort of feeling like you're on the first couple of dates, things aren't progressing in the way you want them to. And you're taking back a back step from what you truly want. So if you're in the relationship for the wrong reasons, you're not going to have a contented partnership. And how does that feel long term? How do you feel about it every day that you see that person? Do you feel worthy of who you are with them? Or do you feel like you're just a piece of their life and you fit in when, in when it suits them? So never, ever, ever sacrifice who you are to be with anybody. I don't care if it's a friendship or whatever it is. You are who you are because that's what makes you you. So why are you going to take a piece of yourself away from the equation just to be with somebody? It's not worth it. And, it, and you're worth, worthy of more than that. You're, you're, you're a special person. You shouldn't have to sit there and be on the end of somebody else's agenda and because when it suits them to have you there. So if you're sacrificing what you like to do, if you're sacrificing how much time you see them, or you're sacrificing how they're feeling towards you, and you're holding back your feelings, you're with the wrong person. Now, I'm not saying you're wasting time because this is for you to figure out so that you can move on to the next relationship with better intentions and not shortchange yourself. Because why would you give to somebody only a part-time piece of yourself when you've got so much to give? So if you're that sort of backseat person all the time in a relationship and wondering why it keeps happening to you, it's because you keep letting it happen. So do not ever take part, part-time sort of emotional stuff from a person and say that's okay for you. Because if you want more, speak up and say you want more. You really deserve it and don't think that you don't. Thanks for listening to Dear Cyber Sue. Sorry, that was a rant today, but you know, I do get frustrated that people don't know their own self-worth when they're so amazing. You don't have to be somebody's little piece of trophy on the side once in a while whenever they want you. So thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Uh, please keep sending in your questions to me. I love them. It gives me great show topic ideas. Thanks for subscribing to my channel at Dear Cyber Sue. Check me out, cybersue.com. Thanks everyone. Take care. Bye. Trick my mind and then you took it all Now I'm hanging by a thread Closer to the